another lovely day today we are going to be doing a makeup tutorial rihanna just launched a new product in her beauty line is the ease drop blurring skin tint uh this one i got is a light to medium coverage for all skin tones and it blends and blows to instant perfection and it's supposed to be light as air so for those of you who do not like heavy makeup and you just want to wear a little bit of foundation I think this skin tint will be what you want so I'm going to be giving it a try I'll use the skin tint and use uh, the other products from her line that way I'm able to give a better judgment than comparing or using other products with it come back so this uh, is drop blurring skin tint comes in 25 shades and if you go on Sephora website or on Rihanna's website if you know the color of foundation you used before from her collection then it's able to suggest to you what shade you're going to be uh, in the 25 shades or you can just go to the store and ask the beauty consultant so I picked up shade 19 which is more of a, a warm undertone because I'm a neutral warm undertone uh, so that is what the packaging looks like and I'm just going to take it out now for you to see so right out of this box this is what you get it says 19 is drop blurring skin tint and it's uh 32 mils or 1.08 ounce okay and so it's suggested that you apply it with your hands so i guess that way you don't um your sponges or your brush does not soak up a lot of the product i'm going to start with her face primer i'm just going for you to see but i use the true matte uh primer in her collection and I have a mirror here in front of me, so if you see me looking down, I'm just uh, looking at my mirror. So we'll start with priming. I have already moisturized my face. I love this primer. It stays on like cream. So now that my primer is uh, dried on a little bit, we are going to go with the... Uh, skin tint oh okay so it opens like so so it has like a small nozzle so I'm just going to put about two drops on this side and I'll just walk it in and see so it is light for sure So this is what it looks like with one coat or I use two drops and this is the side I don't know if you can see my face oh was I looking down okay so I'm gonna add one more so this is about three drops okay so it's really really good light coverage right and i'm sure uh, you can build it but like i said for those of you who do not want a lot of uh foundation you don't want it to feel like it's really heavy then i think this will be the one for you and it's very easy to apply and no i didn't do my eyebrows yet So if you're finding that you don't like applying your makeup with your hands then for sure you can go ahead and use your brush but i'm just following the recommendation okay so this is what it's looking like right now okay i think shade 19 is good for me and i'm just gonna put one on my forehead here so it's even I 
I think the finger is good. You can really go into order. Okay. So I'm not going to build it or anything. So I just used about three pumps in each. So I just wanted to see what it looks like. So I think that shade is good for me, right? And I'm not going to put on my neck. So I'm just patting it down to make it a little bit more even. Okay, so it really, really feels light as it promised. And I'm just going to brush the edge into my hairline so that I don't have that harsh line. Okay. So this is what it looks like. So I think 19 is good for me. So in her foundation, I wear 420 and 440. So in this one, I've used 19. 18 was a a gold undertone so I didn't want to go with that so we're just going to go ahead now and finish the full face so I'm going to fast forward that side so that the video is not too long but this is what it looks like I'm just gonna wipe down my bottle a little bit yeah so you, do, you don't get a lot of wastage like it's really not a lot that stays on so that is what it looks like this is shade number 19 in the east drop blurring skin tint okay so i'm going to move along i'm going to do my eyebrows now usually i'll do my brows before doing the other parts but because i wanted to show you what the face tint looks like all over the face so i've gone ahead to do that first so i would like to i would like it to dry up a little bit before i put my concealer i'm going to be powdering my brow a little bit with her setting powder in hazelnut okay and i'll just apply a little bit so it does come with a cover so that the product doesn't pour everywhere
this is what it's looking like right now so the concealer and the skin tint works together beautifully so like you can see it blends out well and my concealer is about one or two shades lighter than uh, my foundation color because I just wanted the under of my eyes to be a little bit brighter so yes they do work together well I'm going to go ahead now and set my face with her face setting powder in hazelnut and it comes with this nice cover that helps to contain the powder okay I'm gonna be using my Morphe brush changing think that it's progress you're making copy and paste pretty faces all the time picture so perfect we play through only because you set up the angle web that you we've got us tangled caught in what's before our eyes show off your fantasy reality whoa Perfection, what is it we chase? Bow for your 15 seconds of fame. It's your time. Give me the messy, give me the pain. A rose will not grow without the rain. I wanna be someone who says there's more than meets the eye. Show off your fantasy reality. we are looking like right now i'm really loving the colors i'm just going with whatever uh i choose so i'm going to now uh finish off the whole of my face uh with the mac uh studio fix and i use nw45 so i'm in the warm neutral undertone i'm using my sculpt bookie brush from marshall's don't need any timeline to prove that this is my
I'm going to be using the Morphe Mattifying Continuous Setting Mist. I'll put a, a picture of it uh, beside this video if it's too shiny. But this is absolutely awesome. It's mattifying and it sets the whole thing. So we're going to go ahead and set our whole face now. And you don't need a lot okay it's so light I will just wait for a few minutes for that to dry and we'll be done and we are all done this is my final look for this tutorial the ease drop blurring skin tint is amazing super easy to apply and it works well with her primer concealer setting powder and all that and as you can see it's very very easy to apply so for those of you who do not like heavy makeup you just want a very light foundation this will be the way to go so I have used the shade 19 you can go on Sephora site on her website and choose your color so it's in the warm undertone neutral undertone gold or yellow undertone and in the olive or darker undertones so I hope you have enjoyed this tutorial today until next time when I bring you another exciting episode, have a blessed and wonderful day. Thank you.